Hi there, welcome back to Simon Says. I'm Simon, and today I'm going to be showing you this blind drive motor that I purchased, which is ZB controlled, and I'm going to integrate into my home assistant. So for a while now, I've been wanting to control my blinds with Home Assistant with a Zigbee controlled blind drive motor. And I found this one recently on AliExpress. It was pretty affordable. It was about 80 New Zealand dollars with the shipping and the taxes and everything, which I thought was really, really cost effective. So let's have a look at this device. First of all, feeling the device itself, it feels nice and solid and heavy, so it's gives me the feeling of confidence that they've got some good quality components inside here. If we have a look at it, uh, it's got this device. This is the little cog. Now there are four of these available, so you can use them to control different types of strings. So this fits on here really nicely. You press it on there like that, and then you've got two buttons. You've got an up button. There we go, so it starts off a little bit slowly, obviously builds up its torque, and then you can stop it. And we've got the down button. So really nice quality sounding motor. Okay, uh, it's got a little LED that shows you the state of what's going on when you're programming the upper and the lower limits and pairing and things like that. Um, on the back side, you see there it's got a little thing that'll fix it to the wall. And there's a wall component that I've already stuck on the wall. I'll show you how that works now. And that slots in very nicely and neatly. And it fixes with either two screws or a double-sided tape. Double-sided tape has stuck very well. Okay, so having a look at this motor, um, on the underside, we've got the little control button here. So this is for pairing it and for setting the upper and the lower limits. Okay, and we also have two little sockets here. We've got one for the input. So it came with the power supply that came as part of the pack. That's what that looks like. Neat little wall power supply. And secondly, it came with a solar panel. So I think this is really awesome because this is going to allow it to top up the charging while so that I don't have to plug it in on a regular basis to charge the lithium cell that's inside here. They do recommend charging the cell once every six months, giving it a full six hour charge just to keep it up to uh, speed. Now, the other thing is it does have a light sensor in here. This doesn't seem to work natively with my Vizigby integration. But I'm not too worried because I've got a light sensor on my uh, Mi Flora sensor in the same room anyway. So that doesn't matter. So let me show you how I've connected up and how it's operating. So you can see I've got it neatly set up against the window frame there. And if I press the button on my Home Assistant now, it will start winding the roller blind up for me. Really responsive, connects super easily, and it's just so easy to then automate your blinds. So once I'd pressed the pairing button, it immediately came up in my Zigbee system. And as you can see, it's pulled it in here. Very simple. We don't seem to have any extra items such as the battery level or that light sensor, but I'm not too worried about that. So basically it comes very simple here. The controls, I can either go into the down mode, I can stop, or I can go into the up mode. So really, really simple, does exactly what I need. Um, and the other things, if we look at my automations, I've now gone and created two automations. I've created one automation for when the sun sets to close the blind and another automation for when the sun rises to open the blind. So that is how easy it was. Literally, if we go into those actions, you can just see you select the blind, select the device and you can actually set the cover position in the bottom here. So you can just drag this up and down. So very, very easy to use. I can honestly say I'm very impressed with this device and I would recommend them to anyone. That's all for now. Have a great day. Bye then.